Welcome back to the vlog and welcome back to Papua New Guinea. We're just doing a quick 10 minute flight over to Wanakipa today. So let's go ahead and get started. Get our fuel on, fuel pump on, low start. Just shut down just a few minutes ago, get it down below, ITT below 200 degrees Celsius. Reduce our low idle. And just watching ITT come up. Make sure I don't have any hung starts, hot starts. There we go. You can Google that if you don't know what it is. Anyways, generator on. Get our prop forward or V2 on. Alternator on in our auxiliary bus for our air. Air conditioning and just blowers. Anyways, I'm kind of in a hurry today because we have a helicopter coming in here in just a few minutes. And he's landing right where I am. So I'm trying to get out of here before he comes. All right, fuel caps and selectors are good. We'll turn Betty off, our terrain awareness system. Pitches and instruments, we are 5,900 pounds, so rotate at 57 and 67. The landing here in just a few minutes. Like I said, it's only 20 miles over there. After set indicated and verified at 20. Our tram will go ahead and set up our call. Medang 65, nine or eight, November Tango Echo Taxi. November Tango Echo Taxi, Yifki, Wanakipa, four POB. November Tango Echo. All right, they've had a lot of rain out here. They just started cutting the airstrip this morning, which I'm grateful that they at least did that, but a little disappointing because they knew we were coming that they didn't already have it just cut. Uh, at least they've got about five strips down the middle. Yeah, a lot of clouds on all the mountains around here today. Hoping I can get into Wanakipa. Uh, I'm not 100% sure exactly what the weather is. It's just 20 miles, so I'm imagining it's very similar to this. All right, trimming aboard if we are not 35 knots by one, two, three cones on the left. We're going to go ahead and full reverse heavy braking. If we're going off, cut off, pull off, and shut off, we'll just go straight ahead if we do. After takeoff, pitch for 85 knots. Consider EPL, consider feather. Left hand turn to the lower terrain down to the riverbed. Cut off, pull off, and shut off. Emergencies, masters, crack my door. All right, ignition lights. We are in bypass. 24 degrees, 3,000. So, 14. 1440. Chain condition flaps 20. Blunt harnesses. All right, checklist is complete. 1440. All stations Yifki, Kodiak November Tango Echo departing Yifki for Wanakipa. light today so we'll get our air speed up pretty quick there's 35 continuing and there's airborne we we'll just pitch for 73 knots just to get our best angle of climb to get out of here initially and then make our turn out of the valley. So yeah, all the valleys have really low lining clouds in them this morning. I'm really hoping that um, it's not gonna be an issue landing here in another 10 minutes when I get over to Wanakeep. Otherwise, I have to bring my passengers back over here and then on to WeWAC. All right, now that we're up at a little bit of a safer altitude, be able to get down the valley all right we'll nose over get up our speed up to 85 and up and then we'll start getting our flaps out imagine the valley is going to be clear all the way down or at least some low lining clouds but for the most part it's going to be clear all right there's 87 knots we'll go 10 degrees of flaps go zero degrees of flaps
Then we'll just head on down the middle of the valley. Reduce our prop to 2,000 RPM. Then that will also bring our ITT back down to 720. Climb up no more than 8,000 today because, like I said, it's only 20 miles, 10 minutes, and I'll just be going immediately right back down. I'm really hoping I can get in because I really don't want to come back and drop these guys off. Dang 659 or 8, November Tango Echo departure. November Tango Echo departed. Yifki, time 52, tracking 243, unclimbed, not above 8,000, estimating Wanakipa 02. 8615565, Wanakipa, November Tango Echo. All right, we're heading over here to Wanakipa. Bring up the strip chart while we're just cruising down the valleys. It's going to be 2,200 feet. Uh, so my pattern altitude is going to be 3,100 feet. I haven't been out here Vertical in track. a year or so. Anyways, we'll be landing on runway 18. Uh, it's down right in the middle of a valley, so I'm really, really hoping that, uh, yeah, there's a lot of clouds down on all of the mountaintops here right now. I really do need to land here because I have some literacy stuff for some missionaries that I really wanted to drop off today for them. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Planet runway 18, it's a 7% slope, 580 meters long. It is 1010. Like I said, we're going to be going right back down to 3,100 feet. I'm going to go ahead and just leave all my stuff on, except my igniters. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. But yeah, it's like kind of cloudy like this just about everywhere in PNG today. It is unreal how cloudy it is. It's a high, high overcast. And then a low, low kind of scuzzy clouds all in the valleys. But in between, it's beautiful. So after this one, I'm heading out to WeWAC. Um, I'm gonna try to film that one as well. Uh, I was having thunderstorms in WeWAC this morning. And so I'm gonna get the weather once I land out here, see what it's like, see if it's cleared up at all. Hopefully it has. Uh, Cause if I can't land there again, man, my whole day is completely shot and I'll be into the weekend. All stations want to keep uh, Kodiak November Tango Echo six miles to the northeast, 7,200 on descent. Want to keep uh, five niner. All right, this is the valley I need to go down with this river right here. So I'm already here basically. Now I got to drop down, prop forward. Uh, it's looking potentially hopeful. It's not. Uh, there's not quite as many clouds on, they're just on the ridges more so than they are up the valleys. So that's good so far. All right, I'm landing on runway 18. I hit OBS, turn it to runway 18. That'll help me, give me an orientation of the runway. This main valley is completely open. And it looks like all the way up to where I need to go is good. I just can't see into my valley quite yet. All right, bypass landing lights are on. Collectors are good. Pause is still enabled. Inhibited. Landing 50, sorry, correction, 67 knots. It's an inlet are done. If we do need to go around, it's at the hill, left hand turn out, power up, 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73, continue on left hand turn, and there it is. Awesome. I'm so glad. I really didn't want to have to go back to Yipke to drop these guys off. All right, 67, 87 on base. 77 on base, 87 on downwind. All right, another 1,000, 1,500 feet to go. I'll give them a call on the ground. All stations want to keep 128.5. November Tango Echoes in the circuit, want to keep up. It's another done, abort emergency, we've already done. Pop and harness is done. We'll do SAR on the ground, like I said. 
talking about out here. And I can't even remember. It's been probably nine or ten months at least. I reduce my power a little bit more. Returning final 3,600 feet. Direction 2,600 feet. I don't see anything showing on the windsock down there. I don't see any people or dogs or anything like that on the runway this morning. Already at 20 degrees of flaps. All right, because I was so much higher, I'm just trying to get back down. I'm just about to my better altitude now. I want to lose uh, 300 feet. There's pattern altitude, 2,800 feet. Turning base. Hey, we want 77 on base. I'm at 77 right now, so I'm just going to hold my speed. We've got three knots of headwind now, potentially tailwind. Right, turning base now. 7700 or 77 knots. 2600. 500. I got five knots going the other way. Doesn't really know what to do today. All the way up to this ridge here before I make my final. Full flaps check is checklist is complete. One to sixty-seven. Five hundred. Turned a little bit early. It looks like. We're just going to go for about the first cone in. It's one out of tailwind. All right, nice and stable. Looking good. We're now committed to land. the grass like big time my goodness thanks guys this is Juana Keepa. I'm gonna throw the drone up just really quick this morning because it's been a while since I have I'll definitely be closing this place after I leave here because the grass on the side is like over a foot tall and that's just unacceptable dogs can hide in the grass things like that and they can jump out in front of you so Definitely not acceptable to have the grass a foot tall. And it looks like they started cutting the parking bay. Don't ask me why they do that. They always start on like the thing that doesn't really matter the most. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna throw the drone up uh, real quick for you guys and uh, shoot a little quick video here if you guys are interested in seeing those kind of videos on the ground kind of content. I post them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link down below. So anyways, thanks for joining me on this quick little flight over here to Wanakipa. Off my uphill fuel and shut down. Turn all blowers off, lights off. Leave our fuel pump on. So we're shut down. Talking with maintenance this week and they 
said, oh yeah, can you turn that off? Talking with maintenance today, and they said, you're, or this week, and they said, you're not supposed to turn that off until after 5% NG. So, anyways, new to me. Anyways, thanks again. Have a good one.